as you might spot a meteor shower. Rebecca is here to tell us more about what we can expect. It's like a show in the sky. It is. It certainly is. Hey, good morning, ladies. You know what? The start of this year has been relatively quiet when it comes to talking about meteor showers, but this is the first one that breaks that streak. And so if you are a fan of looking up in the sky, well, you have some time tonight and then also going into the early hours of your Friday. So let's take a look at the forecast first and foremost as we go throughout the evening hours tonight. It is going to be partly cloudy, so yes, we will have some cloud cover in, in the sky. Not completely clear conditions, which is what we would love, but it is going to be mild. You won't necessarily need to bundle up like you normally would just a couple of months ago. So thankfully, we are going to continue to see some mild conditions. So let's talk a little bit more about how to see the Leeward meteor shower. So what you can do, the first thing is the best time to watch. So if you didn't have the opportunity last night, which they weren't at their full peak, you can head outside tonight to so stay up a little bit later, 11 p.m. until about when the moon is bright. So you have between roughly 11 p.m. and then going up until about dawn. You have all the opportunities to see it, but that's going to be the peak time to see it and make sure you can be uh, heading outside into the country, getting away from all those city lights. Where can you spot them the best? Well, the Lyrids can be seen near the star Vega, which is one of the brightest stars in the sky, so it's a little bit easier to spot. Now, if you are going to be heading out to go check out some of these meteor showers again, we are going to continue to see some partly cloudy skies tonight. Not promising perfect conditions, but there is the potential to see up to 10 to 20 meteors per hour with this meteor shower promising at times bursts of up to 80 100 meteors per hour. That's a lot of stars to make some wishes on. Now, if you are going to be heading out into the country, allow your eyes 30 minutes to adjust to the dark and you can get away from those city lights. So lots to look forward to. Again, if you are going to be going out to check out the Lyrids, don't forget to share your photos. Let us know if you take your family out there. One of my favorite memories is doing this with my mom when I was little. Again, you can find more of this information over on our website. Ladies, Ooh, I can't wait to see this. I know. How exciting. Thanks, Rebecca.